everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. I want to go to Activist Post, who had a very, very chilling piece on the war on drugs, specifically a U.S. Marine Corps veteran who's now facing life in prison for just over an ounce of cannabis to treat his PTSD. And we're not even talking bud, folks. We're talking about plant matter, the entire plant, because they were babies. He hadn't even gotten, hold on one second, let me get into this. It says, after serving three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, Christopher Lewandowski was medically and honorably discharged from the Marine Corps after fighting the state wars for them. However, the state has taken it upon themselves to wage war against him for naturally treating an illness he acquired fighting for them. Lewandowski is now a 100% disabled veteran because of the severity of his PTSD. Since he's gotten out the VA, has him taking up to 18 pills a day to treat his PTSD. The pharmaceutical treatment was literally killing him. At 180 Percocets a month, let me stop there. Percocet is mixed with acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, of course, is Tylenol. Tylenol has been shown to kill your liver and kidneys. It does so, and it, you don't even have to take monster doses of it. You just got to take it regularly. Sometimes people don't. But a leading cause, a leading illness as a result of excessive use of Acetaminophen is cirrhosis of the liver or a loss of kidney functions. And um, he was also prescribed Oxycontin. Now, Oxycontin and Percocet are painkillers. And while they may make you high if you don't suffer pain, it really is not the best thing to be treating depression or PTSD with. Just saying, unless he has some sort of physical ailment. But luckily for this Marine vet, he found cannabis. And guess what? It worked. Cannabis treated PTSD so effectively as both clinical and anecdotal evidence has shown. The DEA recently approved the first ever study of the whole plant uh, for medicinal use for vets in April. By allowing the use of the whole cannabis plant, the DEA opened the door for even more smoke, uh, smoked variety to be studied for the potential alleviation of PSD symptoms. Unfortunately, indicative of the government's misplaced draconian priorities, the continued federal prohibition of cannabis has created a tragic and heartbreaking consequence for vets using the plant to treat PTSD, and Lewandowski is a living example of the state's tyranny. After realizing that the meds were killing his liver, Lewandowski decided it would be a good idea to try marijuana as a treatment, so he began growing six plants for his personal use. In June 2014, Lewandowski had a PTSD episode. His wife grabbed the kids and took them to the neighbor's house where she called the police to get her husband some help. However, as is the case in so many incidents, police did anything but help. I can tell you that from personal experience, it should be the last thing you do to call a first responder. And when you call 911, chances are they're going to have a cop show up first. And when they do, believe it or not, their number one priority is not to make you safe, is not to save your life. Their number one priority is to find out what crime was committed, if there was. And boy, they'll, they'll throw the book at you, as they did Mr. Lewandowski. Now, after the police showed up, they searched Lewandowski's home and found six tiny marijuana plants. Police then weighed all the plant matter together, and it didn't total a single ounce. However, because of Oklahoma's dra draconian laws about growing a plant, Lewandowski was charged with felony marijuana cultivation. And it's funny because the Daily Hayes recently spoke to Lewandowski, who described the grow as containing six of the worst plants I have ever seen. The plants were two days into the flowering cycle, but due to a few mishaps, Lewandowski was sure that they were going to die. Lewandowski said it would have been a miracle actually to obtain cannabis from them. Now, according to Whitney Lewandowski, Lewandowski, Christopher's wife, the police also pulled up their tomato plants and included them in the photo for the media. Again, folks, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story, right? Fake news peddlers like the mainstream media. That's right. They needed to show that there was a huge grow operation going there. And so they pulled every plant that they could together to make the pile look big. But the problem was it wasn't. But now he faces life in prison. Because we have a natural plant 
a natural plant that anybody should be free and clear to grow. Just like poppies. You should be free and clear to grow them because it is a great medicinal plant, a natural medicinal plant that if you use it properly and you don't concentrate it down too much, can be very beneficial. However, schedule one, I'm sorry, schedule two, marijuana schedule one, schedule one meaning no medicinal benefit. When of course we know this, the, the sad reality is there are many, many medicinal benefits to marijuana and other natural substances like Kratom. But the United States and the DEA, they don't want you to have it. Because my friends, there's no, there's no money in cures. And the less you spend with Big Pharma, the less the non-representing representatives see in their coffers come re-election time. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.